welcome to Hot Springs. There's the river. And how, long is it gonna take me, how long is it going to take me to get to here? Oh, uh, like 10 years probably. This is on the other side of the Smokies, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, shit. Welcome. Oh, they have yeah. masseuses here, you know. Really? Yeah. I don't think you're in Canada. I'm kind of dirty and stinky to be going to a masseuse. You mean to a hot spring hot tub that cleans you all out? Yep. You could actually wash your clothes in the hot tub. I think I'd rather wash Pump all the water myself. into the hot tub. Uh -huh. Then when you're done, they drain all the water out into the river. There's no chlorine or nothing. Have yeah, they got a dryer here? Uh, it takes an hour. This should be dry before you get out. Enter there. Why you go to the exit? Because I didn't want to drive over there. That works. Because I'm a bad boy. That works. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Where's Where the trail going? at? You're going in. Oh, we just drove down it. That was the afternoon. Okay. This Nero thing really takes on a whole new meaning when you're at. Uh, Hot Springs in Tennessee. It's right by a river. This is right off the Appalachian Trail. I won't be here for another, but after I get out of the Smokies. And that's after I get to Fontana. So it's still gonna be a while, but eventually I'll make it. And uh, Applesauce brought me and dropped me off here on my 11 day, but you'll be seeing this on the 12th day video. Uh, definitely worth it. 25 bucks. I'm going to hit this thing again when I come walking through here in two weeks. Uh, oh, yeah, this is re-energizing me. I'm loving it. Oh, loving it. This is great. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, it's the 12th day. And it ain't of Christmas. 12th day of walking this stanky trail and uh he okay, came to talk about wow. oh yeah okay wait let me put my hand up your ass go ahead <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay yeah, whose birthday was it yesterday ass. huh whose birthday was it yesterday oh i don't know either. it was carrie's birthday carrie who carrie i forgot that bitch carrie oh no. you did not call her bitch <laughs> wow that's cold man Oh, wait till I talk about you. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, it was our sister's birthday yesterday. Uh, this is her first birthday without us. Uh, uh, we're without her, I should you're say. You're right there. She's right here with us. Yeah, she's right here with right us. Right here. And uh, so anyway, doing it. I came out the trail. We she called her niece. You're right. She wouldn't be liking us calling her bitch. No, she wouldn't like that at all. She, like I, I, she was mean like him. Like him, she mean. But anyway, uh, so happy birthday, Carrie. Happy birthday. And uh, love you, Tymere. That's her daughter. And uh, another thing I'm doing, which is today, on this zero is I've worked it out with my work, Publix. And I have to work one day every three to four weeks to maintain my work. It really comes out about once a month, but I have to do it three to four, three to four weeks because they start to kick you out if you haven't. But anyway, I work it out here in Publix in Tennessee, and they're going to let me work, so I get to go in and make bread on March 4th uh, here in Publix. So that's right after the Smokies, or? And that's during the Smokies because I'll be right. past Fontana. Uh, so anyway, the Trail Angel will drop me off tomorrow well, morning preferably pretty early the smokies are only about an hour from our house so it's pretty close yeah and uh my problem is this i've been actually planning ahead it was hard but i'm actually planning ahead and i looked and i have to do 15 maybe mile days huh? maybe to give ahead i don't know about getting oh ahead. he is getting dirty and anyway 15 miles ahead remember there's boy scout troops oh i'm sorry you're gonna yeah. have to edit this 
I ain't heard of it. No. Yeah. And anyway, so I have to do 15 to 18 mile days. That's why I took it easy this week. Because now what I'm trying to do is beat the really cold temperatures that are coming in next week. I think it's going to drop down to about 18 degrees next Wednesday. It's going to drop down to 25 next Tuesday. And wow. so he's going to drop me off on Wednesday. Tire. And it's going to be really hot. You do? Yeah. Uh, do you check your tire? It's being bound. We'll stop at a gas station. Check yeah, there's one right here. Um, and so I have to get through Fontana, get into the Smoky Mountains, and then get out before it's too cold. I have a zero, he has a zero degree um, sleeping bag. The Hilton. It's called the Hilton because it's really heavy. And I think I'm going to get out after about three or four days, probably on Monday or Tuesday, to try and get that. Oh, I believe that when I see it. So I'm going to be running really fast, try and get past Fontana, get past Knock, and uh, get, into the, get into the mountains, and then get to this guy. And on the cold days, I'll start doing that. And so that's our zero. Right now, I'm going by Goodwill to see if I can find a uniform for work because all my clothes are back in Charleston. And rather than have my girlfriend mail them to me, I'm gonna go do that. So anyway, th I know this is off trail talk, so now we will do on trail talk. Are you ready? The first thing is equipment. I've been through three pairs of walking sticks. You broke the ones coming off of the Fighting Force Five. The Fighting for Force Fives died on Blood, Blood Mountain. Mountain. And yeah. then I got some leakies, which were okay. Little girl sticks. But then my trail angel decided to give me his sticks, which are these. And they're cascades. And they're thicker, but look at the handle. You see the handle? It's got two of them. Well, every little thing that when you're hiking makes a difference. And the difference is... I yeah, so it doesn't take much to make you feel a little bit better. So that little bit of... If you're holding here, I found that if I'm holding here and then I just move a little bit like that, it's fine. And then I can go back. It's just that whole different thing with these cascades are real good. Yay. Yay. And light. You know... Uh, Carbon fiber. Yeah. I looked it up. Uh -huh. It attracts lightning quicker than aluminum rods do. Nice. Just to make you feel better. Yeah, I do feel better about that. Yeah, I thought you might. Okay, since we've been in North Carolina, there's um, a number of hills right at the front. That's why they're so hard, like Standing Indian Mountain. The Mount Albert was incredibly tall. And the next one I come out to in about 10 miles is uh, Y and Bald. Y and Bald is coming up in nine miles. And that's, but after that, now uh, I guess North Carolina is bad, I hope. Of what I'm reading, that's what's going on. Those three big ones right at the beginning. So Y and Bald comes up for me in nine miles. I'll do that tomorrow. Now, Waya is an old Cherokee name for Red Wolf, and it's named after the indigenous people that used to live here like 11,000 years ago. They found some uh, spearheads on top of the mountain, but at the top is a very treeless high area with a big stone observation tower, supposedly. So hopefully we'll see that tomorrow. We'll find out. Nothing like high. We'll see.